Hi everyone, Bree here from Edge Actuarial, and today I'm going to be talking about study strategy. Uh, when you're creating your study strategy, there's really five main things that you really need to include to give yourself the best chance of passing. So I'm going to talk about all five of those things today. So many of you probably already know if you watch my YouTube videos or maybe you get my study tip emails or maybe you're in my Facebook group, but however you've connected with me before, you probably know that I have a study strategy program. And the study strategy program basically leads you step by step on how to pass exam P and FM. Now, the cool thing about the study strategy program is it includes all five of these things and that makes it really, really successful. Actually, in March of this year, the pass rate for exam P was 40%. And for study strategy members that actually stuck with the plan and followed it through, 80% of them passed. That is awesome. So this stuff really works. And I want to show you in depth uh, what things you need to include in a study strategy and also how the study strategy program can help you get those things. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you need to make sure you have in your study strategy is really good study materials. And a lot of people think that you have to spend a lot of money on study materials, but that's not true. Uh, there are lots of really affordable options and you can even consider getting some used study materials or there are free options, but I don't really recommend using those just because we don't really know whether they're being updated. We don't know how good they are. Uh, some of them don't even include full solutions for the practice problems. So I wouldn't recommend going with any free options, but there are really affordable options. Like the, the cheapest you can get a study manual for is about $70, which isn't that bad. But if you want videos and adapt and all that kind of stuff, then you're going to move up to more expensive things that are like $500 or more, depending if you're a student or not. But really, you can get great study materials that are affordable. One of the first things we do when you join the study strategy program is we pick out your study materials if you haven't already. But this is something that I know a lot of people need help with and I'm really willing to help you choose what study materials would be best for you. In the description of this video, I'm actually going to link to my article that I wrote about the best study materials for exam P and FM, both in my opinion, of course, but the study strategy members have used all four of the options that I recommend, and I highly recommend you go with one of those because they are proven to work time and time again by study strategy members. So when you're deciding on your study materials, the main two things that you're going to think about are your learning style and your budget. If you have a low budget, you're probably automatically going to go with a study manual, which means that you'll be reading the material. Uh, some of the ones I recommend for that are ASM and ACTEX, but Coaching Actuaries also offers an online, e like an electronic study manual that's really good too. If you're looking for videos, like if you prefer someone actually teaching you going through everything step by step, then you're probably going to want videos. But in order to get those, you're going to need a bit of a higher budget. Like I said, a lot of them are four to five hundred dollars and most of them are TIA and coaching actuaries at least have a 50 percent student discount. So you can really uh, lower the cost of those if you're a student. So if you're looking for those study materials after this video, go check out the links below and that'll go in depth on which ones I recommend for exam P and FM. Okay, now the next thing you need to include in your study strategy is a study plan or a schedule. Now this is going to be different for every single person because no one studies the exact same way and no one really needs to follow the exact same steps because it really depends how you progress and just how things go as you're studying. So a study schedule will actually give you very specific goals that you need to achieve. And that's really, really important because if you don't have those goals, you kind of end up just going through your studying as if it doesn't really matter, like you'll get to it when you get to it. But if you really want to pass at a certain time, then you need to know how you're going to get from where you are right now, which is usually just starting out, all the way to being fully prepared on exam day. And like I said, that path is going to look different for each person. 
Now, in the description of this video, I'm also going to link um, some study schedules that I've planned out, 14 weeks of recommended tasks. You can go download those, but those are just a very general idea of what you should do. It's impossible for me to say how you specifically should plan out your study schedule if I'm not working directly with you. So that's the benefit of being in the study strategy program. In the program, I give you very specific goals to achieve each day. Now, I'm not super strict that you have to study every single day and achieve those goals every single day, but they give you some guidance so that you know that you should be getting certain things done each day. And if you keep up with that schedule, then you're going to be in a really good place for exam day. So like I said, every person is unique. and. That means that I'm constantly monitoring your progress and seeing how you're doing so that I can adjust your schedule as you go because it's not going to be the same for every person. So when I create your daily goals, what I do is I set out the first month or so of studying and then I'm keeping in contact with you, doing check-ins, and I'm tracking how you're doing on your studying and how things are coming so that I know how you need to study going forward to give you the best chance of passing. Okay, the third thing that you need to include in your study strategy is something that I can't really give you and it has to come from you and that is that you need to have 100% commitment, dedication, and devotion to your studying. If you're not in this for the long haul, if you're not willing to do what it takes to pass, then it's going to be really difficult for you to pass. When you decide you're going to start studying, you have to decide that you're going to make the commitment and that you're really going to stick to this till the end and do what you need to do. So I said that everything that I'm going to talk about in this video is included in the study strategy program, but for this, it's something that you have to bring to the study strategy program. You have to be willing to follow the process and work to achieve the goal that you have. So although I can't bring this, it's something that almost all of the study strategy members have because once you finally make that commitment, you're willing to invest in yourself and you're willing to get the help that you need to pass. So generally, I don't see this as a problem for study strategy members, most of them are very committed to their exam, they're willing to do what it takes, and it shows in the results that they're able to get. It's, it's such an awesome thing to finally just commit to something and invest in yourself and go all in. And that's what the study strategy members do, they really commit. So if you're feeling like you're just not sure, or you're not putting 100% into your studying, then consider jumping in the program because this will really boost your motivation and give you that accountability that you need to keep going. And along with this commitment is deciding that you're going to make the sacrifices that you need to. It's very unlikely that you're going to go through your whole study period without having to make any sacrifices, whether that means maybe not going to hang out with your friends or maybe spending a little less time with your family. It isn't fun in the moment, but you know it's going to definitely be worth it. The thing about the study strategy program is that you know well in advance what tasks you're going to need to do each day. So. If you want to plan a special outing on Saturday, for example, you know what you need to complete on Saturday so you can get that done ahead of time and then you have Saturday free. The goals in the study strategy program are really reasonable. Unless, unless you're trying to prepare in only one or two months, then you're going to only have tasks that take one to two hours, maybe three, depending on how familiar you are with the material and how well you understand it. But the tasks are not going to take a lot of time. So sometimes you are able to work ahead so that you can enjoy more time off in the future. Okay, the fourth thing that you need in your study strategy is somewhere to go to get your questions answered. And this may not seem all that important, but it actually can save you tons and tons of time because so many people, and myself included, I did this all the time when I was studying for exams, is that I would spend so much time trying to figure out what was going on in a solution or what the study manual was really talking about or the video, what was it talking about? So I would often spend an hour just looking at a solution and trying to figure out what the heck they are doing in this solution? Like, how did they get from that step to this step? Sometimes to study manual 
creators, it seems so obvious because they know the material so well, but when you're just beginning and starting out on this stuff, you need to know step by step by step how to solve every question. And a lot of the solutions that I've seen to practice problems, they just don't do that. So if you have a really good, reliable place to get your questions answered, then you're going to be in a really good place. You're going to have less stress, you're going to save tons of time, and it's just gonna make your studying more efficient. So in the study strategy program, we have a forum where you can go and ask any questions you have and me or someone on my team will answer those questions and make sure that you really understand what's going on. And that way you don't have to waste hours trying to figure it out yourself. You can just go ask your question, move on, and then later that night you'll come back and you'll have an answer to your question. Okay, and the very last thing you need to include in your study strategy is actually one of the most important things and probably about 90% of people leave this out unless they're in the study strategy program. So this is accountability. I talked about this very briefly before, but accountability is so important when you are studying for your exam because as I'm sure you know, procrastination is really easy. There are other things that you want to do other than studying, and it just makes it hard to stay on track sometimes. I also know that a lot of you are really busy. You're in school, or you have a family, or you just are working full time, and it's hard to get in the studying that you need to. But when you have accountability, it changes everything because there's actually someone there checking in on you, making sure you're able to stay on track, answering your questions and making sure that all your concerns are answered along the way. And for someone that's in the study strategy program, this makes a huge difference as it really ensures that they are committing to the goal. The goal is to pass this exam in one try. No one wants to write it again. So if you have accountability, you're going to notice a huge difference in your dedication to the exam. So having accountability will make sure that you're less stressed because you're not going to prep because you're not going to procrastinate, you're going to be on track with your schedule. And that will ultimately reduce your stress because you won't run into crunch time at the end of your study period as exam day gets closer, where you feel like there's so much stuff to do, but it almost feels impossible to get it all done. You won't run into that when you have accountability because you'll be doing a little bit every day throughout your entire study period, rather than leaving it all, procrastinating until the end and suddenly having to do a ton of work, which can be really stressful. So those are the five things. You need good study materials. You need a schedule to follow or study plan. You need to be fully committed and devoted to your studying. You need somewhere to go and get your questions answered quickly so that you don't have to waste your own time trying to do that. And you need accountability. Five things. All of them are in the study strategy program. If you'd like to join, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'd love to work with you. The study strategy program has been such a success so far and I've loved working with every single one of the members so far. I've actually had over 200 people now begin the process of studying for their exams with us. And although some people decide that they have other things that are higher priority so they have to leave the program and some people don't quite have that dedication, I know that people that are really going to commit, stick to the schedule, and take advantage of the study strategy program, put themselves in a really good place to pass on exam day. It is really what I wish I had when I was studying for these exams, and I want to give that to everyone else writing now because I know that these aren't fun, they're not easy, and I want you to pass. So if you're interested, link in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!